Welcome to video 118, and in this video I'll write the destructible take damage script. Okay, so make a new C sharp script and call it destructible take damage. Open it up. Okay, and this uh, script doesn't have on enable or on disable and doesn't have update either. And instead there's a public void process damage, take great care with the spelling and case here, very important, you'll soon see why, and I'll put there int damage. Okay, so for my variables, I'll have a private destructible master, destructible master, and in set initial references, quite simply, destructible master is get component destructible master call set initial references here and start and inside of here uh, from destructible master dot call event deduct health and that health is uh, to deduct is damage so that's a script very simple but that's not enough so we need to go and edit a gun script really and i'm pretty sure it's this one the gun apply damage so open that up gun apply damage now you'll see at the moment that the gun apply damage script only damages enemies, right? So that has to change now. Now it's not going to be like that anymore. Now anything that's destructible can get hurt as well. So I'm going to say gunmaster.event shot default plus equal apply damage. So now even ordinary objects will get damage applied if applicable. And the way to do that is to use send message now. That's simpler. To, it's simpler for us to use that than to check if there's such and such component on that object and then to apply damage if that is the case. And it turns out it's it's a slightly more efficient just to use send message rather than accessing the components more than once. Or checking if that component exists. So I hope you've made sure to, uh, you know, this process damage method on the enemy take damage script, make sure it's exactly the same name as what you just wrote right now for the destructible take damage uh, script, because this will make your life simpler. So what am I going to do? I want to say I just deleted that in the gun apply damage script. So I'm just going to say hit transform dot send message and that is you've got to give uh, you've got to supply uh, the method by uh, its name the string you have to type it out so process damage it's probably a good idea to go ahead and just copy it to so make sure that there's no spelling problems or anything like that or you might detect that there is that way and so both scripts uh, the uh, enemy take damage and destructible take damage their methods must both have exactly the same name. You must not have anything different. Otherwise, then you have to say send message twice. You have to have another line send message with that other name, and that's unnecessary. Okay, and that's it. And you can pass one parameter uh, with the send message, uh, I guess, method. And um, so you just pass in one value, and that will be uh, the damage. Okay. And then last of all, I'll say send message options dot don't require receiver. So that way if the uh, game object that gets this message doesn't actually have a script on it that has a method by the name process damage, it's no problem. No problem. No need to raise any error messages or anything like that. Okay, so that is it. This should work, uh, I guess, immediately. So let's go back to Unity. Let's go to the barrel and uh, drop in the um, uh, health script for it. Oh, sorry, not the health script, the take damage. So drop in the take damage script, and well, let's go ahead and see whether the damage deducts. So watch the health there, it's 50, right? Yep, it worked. 25, minus 25, minus 75. Okay, good. So that's all good then. So uh, this works just fine, of course. We need to destroy the barrel and do lots of other stuff right now. 
because the uh, event destroy me is uh, well nothing's subscribed to it so nothing's happening at the moment and we'll come to that in the uh, well the next videos that are coming anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you uh, later